here I'm told a local carpet cleaning company charges $15 for each room cleaned plus a non-refundable reservation fee of $25. Use this information to create a data table and a graph that describe this situation. So my input is rooms cleaned. Let's see if I can get that in that space. And then my output is going to be cost. So I start with zero rooms. If zero rooms were cleaned, then the only cost is the $25 reservation fee. So we're assuming that a reservation was made, but then for some reason, no rooms were clean. But every room that I clean, I add $15. So that's how my cost is changing. So 15 plus 25 gives me 40. So every room I clean, the cost goes up $15. So at three rooms, I'm gonna be at $70. At four rooms, 85. At five rooms, 100. And at six rooms, 115. So let's see how we can graph the data in this table. I'm gonna start by noticing that all my values are positive, both inputs and outputs, and there aren't gonna be any negative values. So I'm just gonna make this into a first quadrant graph, which is totally fine to do. Then let me go ahead and label my axes. So this is rooms cleaned and cost in dollars. Now we need to decide on the tick marks. So my inputs go from zero to six. There's 20 here. So I am going to label every third tick mark as one. That will use our space nicely. Then for the vertical, I'm traveling through starting at, I don't actually start at zero, but I don't want to draw those two little lines because really we're going to be able to show our data pretty well. So I'm going to say zero up to 115. I've got 20 tick marks, so I'm going to go from zero to 120 and a distance of six. So one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna be 30 if those are six apart. There's 60, 90, and 120. That'll spread out our data pretty well. Now I'm gonna take and plot these as ordered pairs, input, output, input, output, all the way across. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So go ahead and pause the video, plot your points, make a decision as to whether or not to connect them and make them continuous, and then restart the video and make sure you're on the right track. So once you graph all of your points and label them with their appropriate letter, then you have to decide whether to connect the points or not. And in this case, our data are actually discrete because my number of rooms has to only be separated by one room. I can't clean 2.5 rooms, 3.1 rooms, etc. So I'm gonna leave these separated. I'm not gonna connect them. If I had more data points, the um, ordered pairs would be graphed and continue on in this direction. So we can see that this is an increasing graph, but the points remain disconnected.